Hey guys, the Bunny Twelve here, and welcome to another Roblox Place Review. Today we are looking at Dragon Ball Online, one of my personal favorite games. So let's get started. So first, you want to customize your character. Uh, you can't really see the character right now because it's in a box, kind of. So you got some shirts, pants, faces, bodies. I would recommend the buff body, and I would also recommend being a Saiyan. And recommend having a scouter. Any color will do. Uh, now let's go ahead and enter the game. Alright. Alright, let's turn the sound back on. I can turn it back on now. Now, uh, right now, oh, it's not loaded in yet. Um, the game's still loading, so I'll be back once it's loaded in. Alright, so, this is what my character looks like. Basically, Vegeta. So basically, this game is based on Dragon Ball Z. And also, as always, a link to the game will be in the description if you want to play it for yourself. And let's get the sound back on. Oh, press M to mute that music, by the way. Um, actually, it's pretty good music, so let me go ahead and turn it on, but I'll just turn the sound down. Oh, uh, no, never mind. Alright, anyway, so, the purpose of the game is to get as strong as possible so you can defend yourself from other players. Because, you know, there's some players that want to kill you, and then there's peaceful players like myself, who are, you know, don't attack unless attacked. Now, um, most, if you are just a new player with no passes, you will start out with Fly, Combat, Energy Wave, and two Sensu Beans. Now, if you've watched Dragon Ball Z, you know that Sensu Beans are very good for you, and they heal you up, and all that good stuff. So, to fly, press 1, click and hold, and you will be able to fly. Just direct yourself with your cursor, and you will be able to fly. Combat, uh, you use the Q key, oh, wait a minute, hold on a second, oh, I'm frozen, that's what's going on, hold on, okay, here we go, 2, Q, E, R, and T, that's what you use, and there's also mobile support, um, you can use that if you're on, like, a mobile device, you can, it will make buttons for you, so, and then also, you don't even need to have combat on for this one, press C and hold, to, like, block, now, energy wave, click and hold, and this will use some of your key, Click and hold to charge up more power, and then let go to shoot it. Oh, and we destroyed some of the rock. That's ah, not good. Now you can see. Uh, let me turn the chat off so you can, so you can see it better. Uh, you can see uh, when I use this, my, some of my power is used. That's actually my key. And every time I use a key skill, uh, it uses up some of my key. Now you're probably wondering, now how do I get my key back? Well, you got to do left shift. You got to hold that, and you will charge your key. That will charge your key so that you can use more abilities. Now, also, you want to look at is view your stats. Now, my stats are ridiculous. Uh, so, yeah, they're really, really high. So, uh, normally they aren't this high. So, to increase your attack, you just do combat. You just do that. You'll see it's going up. See how it's going up. And uh, what I like to do is I like to press all four of those keys at once and be like this. Be like absolutely ridiculous. Look how fast it's going up. I just hit it up a little bit. Now, to increase your key, you just use any key ability like Energy Wave. You can see it went up. And also, charging your key will uh, make it go up. But not if you're, you know, fully charged. Like, right now, I am not fully charged. So let's go ahead and charge the key. Now you can see, after this, see, now it's stuck at 35 because I've already reached max power. Um, now, click to activate max power. I'm not exactly sure what that's for, really. Um, ooh, somebody's summoning, uh, Shenron over there. Now, that is, and now to increase your agility, you just have to run. Run around. Or you can fly with run on. That works as well. So, yeah. Now, you're probably wondering, why would we want to increase these things? Is there really any need? Well, there is. Now, go to the View Skill Dojo. When a ability is yellow, that means you are strong enough to uh, obtain it. Now, I have everything. I can get anything I want. If it's gray like this, uh, like if the attack, like if it said Big Bang Attack, and if it was gray like this, that means you're not strong enough to get it. Now, um, oh, oh crap. The, get, ooh, ooh. You can see that the land does regenerate over time, just like that. Now, um, you can see there is Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Lord Bill's power, there's all kinds of stuff. Now, you have to be a Saiyan, of course, to get Super Saiyan. Uh, you can be anything to get Lord Bill's power. Now, to be a Super Saiyan, you can see that you need 10,000 all. Now, what that means is you need 10,000 experience of each of these. So, attack, key, and agility. You can see mine is all over a million. So, 
Yeah, so you need to train really hard to become a Super Saiyan, and then you also need to be, uh, to get Super Saiyan 2, you need 20,000 all. Now, you're probably wondering, why do we want these uh, transformations? Well, what they do is they give you extra health, and I think they also make it so that your attacks are stronger, just like how it is in the actual show. Now, for Patora, that's a, I'll show you that a little later. Um, now, you can see 9,000 AGT, that means agility, and then key, that means 9,000 of those two, and you'll be able to get instant transmission. So let's see. These are extra skills. Extra skills 2. We got Legendary Super Saiyan and Legendary Super Saiyan 3. Now, I notice there is no Legendary Super Saiyan 2. Well, at least in here. That's actually a game pass to get Legendary Super Saiyan 2. So you need 30,000 all for Legendary Super Saiyan and then Legendary Super Saiyan 3 is 40,000 all. So you're going to have to do some serious training to get all this stuff. Now, there's Mystic, which I would not recommend using because you actually can't turn it off. Once you turn it on, you can't actually turn it off. Um, there's Solar Flare, which actually is pretty easy to get. It's just 500 key. Uh, so Solar Flare is really easy to get. Superhuman, which of course needs to be human to, to get. Uh, if I tried to get it right now, it won't work, so I'm a Saiyan. Uh, now, Super Perfect Form, that won't work because we're not a Cell uh, person. Now, there's Physical Skills. Uh, like, uh, let's see, the Bone Crush, that's really easy, you just need 70 attack and 70 agility, so that one's pretty simple to get, and then there's things like Power Attack, which need 10,000 key, or Meteor Crash, that means 20,000 of attack and agility, so, yeah, and then you can tell that some of these have really high, uh, needs, so that probably means that, so that means that they're stronger. Then Z items, you got Trunk Sword, and the Flying Nimbus. Now, I believe you get coins. I'm not exactly how sh how how exactly you get coins. Maybe by killing people. I'm going to imagine that. Now, the upgrade list. Uh, this is where you upgrade your transformations. Well, at least your Super Saiyan transformations. So, to right-click them, uh, to downgrade them. Now, you can see I got points. And I, I believe... Get out of my face. Um, I believe you get points by killing people once again, like I mentioned before. So, I'm just going to go ahead and set these all... To their first stages. So you can see my Super Saiyan right now is at the... Get out of my face. Is at the normal first stage. Now to activate... Actually, I need to get them. Hold on. I need to press on all these to get them. So I'm going to go ahead and click on all of these. So let's get Lord Bill's power. Super Saiyan 3. I've got a lot of transformations. So it's going to take me a minute. Super Saiyan 4. Plus all my passes as well. Which uh, you don't need any... As long as you've bought the pass, no matter how strong you are, you'll be able to transform into them. You just have to have the pass. So there we go. So now I've got all my transformations. Now to activate uh, them, you just have to say the, say the word in chat. So for Super Saiyan, we just say SSJ. And here we go. Now we are turning into the Super Saiyan, you thoughtless monster. And here we go. We are transforming into a Super Saiyan. Bam! There we go. Now witness a true Super Saiyan. Now, do you notice that my health changed a little bit? That's because I've been given more health. Also, if you had, if I had this open, you would have noticed that everything would have been increased a little bit. Now, of course, like Super Saiyan 2 would add more than a Super Saiyan would, would give you more health. So you can see my defense right now is 1732. Now, if I press off, I say off, now it's at 1731. Super Saiyan doesn't really give you much, you can tell. Now let's go to the upgrade. Super Saiyan is the one that has the most stages at it. It's got the second stage, which is the Ascended Super Saiyan. The final stage is a full power Super Saiyan. Then Super Saiyan 2, first stage, final stage, final stage. Then Super Saiyan God has the first stage, and then the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, which is basically the blue form. Kaioken, which is actually a pass, but a very cheap pass. It's only 10 Robux. You got Normal times two, and times three. There's also a secret Kaioken that you can unlock by using the Dragon Balls, which are hidden around this map. Um, I'm not going to show you where those are. Well, maybe I'll show you where some of them are. I'm not going to show you where they all are, because that'd be kind of ridiculous. Actually, no, it's not, because it's actually not that overpowered, actually, because it only helps you a little bit. Now, um, if we want to get a skill, let's look at the key skills. Here you go, let's get the Kamehameha. You know, that's the, probably the most famous attack in Dragon Ball Z. Now, click and hold. Kameha. i be honest. If you've watched Dragon Ball Z, you have tried to do this in real life. You've tried to admit it. You've tried it. I know I have. I know I have. It's a really awesome attack. And this is actually what the requirements for this one is 1,500. And Galagun is pretty much the same thing. 
It's the same thing as a Kamehameha, just purple, really. That's really what the difference between a Gallic Gun is. Uh, but of course, I'm Vegeta, so I should probably have this instead of the Kamehameha. There we go. So we got our Gallic Gun. I'm probably going to have to... Char yeah, I'm going to have to charge my key up again. Because I've used up a lot of it. So let's charge this up again. Now, of course, press save to save your progress. Alright, so let's see. What else do I need to go over? Oh, right. Now, if you want to use a physical skill like uh, Dragon Fist... You have to go up to someone and then click, and you have to be in contact with them. You have to actually be uh, next to them. You have to actually touch them with it. It will kick them, and then they'll do. It will do the actual attack. Now I'm going to show you where. If you want to find some players to kill, if you're one of those kind of people, I will show you where you want to go. There is one place in particular that you want to go, and that's the Cell Games Arena, which is right over here, because that is where people seem to go the most. That and also the World Martial Arts Tournament Arena, which is right over there. So right over here, there should... I'm surprised there's nobody here. But usually there's a lot of people. I don't know why there isn't anybody here. But uh, normally, this is it right here. This is the Cell Games Arena. And over here is the World Martial Arts Tournament. Now, there's actually a Dragon Ball over here. The Two-Star Ball, I believe. Uh, so, you know what? I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my Super Saiyan transformations. Just to show you guys what you're going to work for. Oh, here's some people. Here we are. We got two of them right here. Are they fighting? There we go. So there's two of them. So that one of the Dragon Balls is right... Here. Oh, wait, oh, where'd it go? Yeah, sometimes in a few servers, the Dragon Balls are missing. So, uh, yeah, that there's a glitch with that. And uh, for some reason, the creator's not fixing it. Uh, anyway, so then the Kame House over here... Nothing too special about the Kame House, except that there's a Dragon Ball here. That's about it. That's about it. Besides that, there is nothing really to see. So let's jump through the window. Sometimes this door is open, sometimes it's not. That's what I've noticed. Uh, so upstairs right here, there's a Dragon Ball right there. I believe this is the four-star ball or something like that. No, it's the three-star ball. Now you can see, now I have a Dragon Ball here. Now if you've collected all seven of the Dragon Balls, just say summon, and you'll be able to summon Shenron to grant your wish. Now there is, what Shenron does is he increases your experience for uh, this stuff here, but only by a thousand. Which, you know, at first is a lot, but once you've gotten to like, you know, a million, it's not. So I would just have 1732141, which is nothing, really. It's really nothing. It really is nothing. I mean, if you're just starting out, it's ridiculously good because, you know, you kind of need it to get a... It's good for a good kickstart, but um, <clears throat> it's also for the secret Kaioken. Uh, so if you want the secret Kaioken between you and me, Collect all seven Dragon Balls. When Shenron asks you for your wish, say blue. And your wish will be granted. And you'll have the secret Kaioken. Then just say blue. And the ultimate Kaioken will be unlocked. You heard nothing. Alright. I don't know why I was silent for a second there. Mm. I wonder if there was like some kind of secret I was saying. Anyway, um, as always guys, a link to this game will be in the description. Um, now let's see. I want to show you guys my personal favorite transformation. Which one is it? I know what you guys want to see. The legendary Super Saiyan. Here we go. Oh, uh, the, the hair hasn't loaded in yet. Oh. Normally it's blue behind here, but it's... Oh, there we go. Now it's loaded in. Let's see. The legendary Super Saiyan. Oh, crap. This guy's gonna try and kill me. Wait. I'm gonna check my scouter. Okay, yeah, that's what the scouter's for. What the fuck? Get away from me. Get away from me. Ass wipe. Sorry, I almost swore the F-bomb there. I'm sorry. It's just that this guy's like, I'm evil and sister or whatever. So, sorry about that. Uh, this moron over here. Hold on, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna kill this son of a bitch. Hold on. Hang on a second. I'm getting my start... Not a racer gun. I meant... I meant Stardust Breaker. Here we go. This one's my personal favorite. Die. There we go, he's dead. That's what you get. Alright, here we go. So you can see it's a little longer of a transformation. But, uh, so yeah, I killed him. Screw him. Oh, it's not loaded in yet. It's gray. Normally it's green. There we go, now we are green. Now you'll also notice our energy wave, our key, is also a different color now. It's green. Just like a legendary Super Saiyan. Oh yeah, and also you destroy the land, like I've mentioned before. You destroy the land when you do that. Yeah. Anyway.
anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for all the good content that I do if you want more of it. Uh, and as always, a link will be in the description if you want to play this for yourself. Bye.